IEC presents Aerial Tramway Systems, Advancing a Materials Handling Tradition. Since industry first developed wire rope cable in the late 19th century, enterprising companies such as IEC have pioneered the use of aerial tramways as a reliable, cost-effective method of transporting bulk materials. Tramways are designed to run continuously day and night, crossing over deep ravines and valleys, wide rivers and swamps, and climbing summits of unbelievable heights. In mountainous regions, they eliminate costly bridges, steep grades, and long meandering routes usually required for railroads and highways. Over the years, tramways have proven one of the most versatile and cost-effective forms of transportation to convey large quantities of bulk material equally well over rough or level terrain. At IEC, we've been building aerial tramways for 105 years and have successfully completed over 600 installations worldwide. During that time, our know-how, technology, and market responsiveness have helped provide cost savings, dependable performance, and better utilization of aerial tramways as a viable alternative for handling bulk materials over rugged or level terrain. Today, we custom design, manufacture, and build a variety of different types of aerial tramways, each intended to suit a specific requirement for speed, distance, capacity, type of material, or handling peculiarity. This fast track continuous aerial tramway was built in just 12 months for Prima Larang mining in the very remote eastern region of Indonesia. The system is designed to transport gold ore from a mountaintop open pit mine down to the processing plant on the seacoast 1,600 feet below. Operating at a rate of 135 tons per hour, this fully automatic system is 8,268 feet in length and typically operates 68 tram cars continuously at a speed of 450 feet per minute. In operation, loaded cars travel on track cable to the discharge terminal, where they travel around a 180 degree vertical curve, turn upside down, automatically discharge their load, and return upside down to the loading terminal while continuing to maintain their speed. Here, they pass through another 180 degree vertical curve, placing them upright for automatic reloading. A unique feature of this system allows tram cars to travel on track cable from loading to discharge and on steel rails during loading and discharge cycles, thus providing the capability to load and discharge materials while in full motion. The track for this system is supported by intermediate towers as high as 381 feet, positioned at approximately 880 foot intervals. The system utilizes two different types of intermediate towers. The pivot type are used to maintain ground clearance and provide line stability, while anchor towers provide intermediate endpoints for the cable and secure its position. The Prima Larang system is powered by a duplex drive consisting of two 125 horsepower motors, which generate 180 kilowatts of usable power to the haul rope drive wheel. Tram cars are propelled by the haul rope assembly, which moves around the drive wheel and connects to the bottom of each car to form a continuous material conveyance line between the loading and discharge terminals. This reversible tramway, located at Mitchell Power Station in western Pennsylvania, was built to automatically transport fixated sludge from the flue gas desulfurization system to the disposal area 2,000 feet up the hillside, a vertical lift of 359 feet. The system features two 170 cubic foot tram cars operating, in balance, at a speed of 1300 feet per minute, with a capacity of 170 TPH. In operation, each tram car is filled by air-operated batch loaders located below the loading hopper before moving to the discharge area. As the loaded car nears the discharge site, speed is reduced and the car body is rotated 180 degrees by radio-activated hydraulics during the actual discharge cycle. Since the entire Mitchell system is fully automatic, it requires only intermittent operating supervision. The Mitchell Power Station tramway features include adjustable cable tensioning and plastic line wheels, both of which help increase track cable performance and extend service life. They also help explain why the system's track cable has never required replacement despite 25 years of continuous operation. 
In addition, the durable weathering steel used for towers, buildings, and guard screens has significantly reduced maintenance costs by eliminating the need for periodic painting. While the demand for aerial tramways has subsided somewhat during the recent past, IEC has continued to help its customers maintain existing systems with numerous design improvements and upgrades based on the latest technology. Today, a resurgence of more diversified mining operations has helped stimulate new interest, increased sales, and more widespread use of aerial tramway systems. Typical of this recent activity is the Idaho Cobalt Project, a dramatic new reversible single-car aerial tramway system awarded to IEC early this year. Located in the world-famous Silver Valley of Northern Idaho, this system is ultimately expected to supply 15% of the North American demand for cobalt, one of the world's most strategic metals. Powered by a 600 horsepower duplex drive, this system provides dull handling capability, transporting both cobalt ore and waste rock some 2,760 feet from the ram mine portal to the mountaintop processing mill, a vertical lift of 1,050 feet up the mountain slope at a top speed of 1,260 feet per minute. The Idaho Cobalt Project, along with other similar systems, represents the latest in IEC's 105-year legacy of dependable tramway designs. So whether you're already sold on aerial tramways or simply evaluating their inherent features for future use, there's probably no better time than now to once again consider their wide range of value enhancing benefits. For example, most tramway systems, regardless of complexity, feature a basically simple rugged design. They require fewer parts or wearable maintenance intensive components. Primary components are designed and fabricated for durability, trouble-free service, and maximum production expectancy for the total system. Proof of this may be found in the fact that many IEC aerial tramway systems have been operating continuously for over 50 years. Consider also that an aerial tramway is designed for all types of terrain. In fact, a tramway is the only type of transportation system that supports itself. So it's the ideal system to cross over wetlands, rivers, or rough country where roads are impossible, impractical, or cost prohibitive to build and maintain. And, most important today, aerial tramways create minimum ecological impact on existing installation sites. Unlike many other competitive systems, IEC aerial tramway systems offer continuous productivity. Systems today are fully automatic, so personnel requirements are minimal and routine maintenance, such as lubrication, is performed while the system is in service, which means less downtime and fewer production delays. In most cases, operating costs have been reduced to as little as three cents per ton, virtually unheard of in many other types of systems. And finally, when it comes to the most important issue of all, capital and operating expense, Aerial tramways far exceed the performance levels of most competitive systems. Built primarily of pre-engineered and fabricated components, erection is both simple and quick, a very important feature, especially if the construction season is either changed or shortened. When it comes to aerial tramway systems, few can measure up to the experience, the tradition, or the unrivaled string of successful projects that IEC has completed throughout the world. We're experienced, we've been tested, We've succeeded and we're ready. So why not let us show you how we can bring our aerial tramway know-how, ingenuity, and production resources to the most important project of all, yours. Mm -hmm.